All right, so I'm going to give you a little tour of the brain here. So this is it in animation mode. And these are these neural circuitry uh, kind of modules that we've created to show you what the brain might be doing, for example, in the parietal cortex here as you're reaching out to grab something, where your vision and your sense of space are being integrated. Here we're coming into the somatosensory cortex, where the neurons are communicating to give you a sense of what it feels like to run your hand over your arm, or something like this. Here we're getting into the motor cortex. This is right up at the top of your brain right here. This has some of the largest cells in the body. Uh, these layer five BET cells, which are sending motor information down th through your spinal cord. Now we're getting into the frontal eye fields where you're helping to track your vision to what is relevant in your visual field. And you can see that this is the cortex of the brain. So this is the outer kind of walnut-like covering uh, that's organized into these neural layers which are sending information up and down. And as we get closer into the frontal cortex, this is the part of the brain which separates us from other primates. This is what makes us human right here. This is the part of the brain which spins on its own. It's communicating without any sensory input, really. I mean, it integrates it, but it's capable. This is what thinking looks like. This is what making decisions and planning your next move uh, and using logic. This, this is really the most evolutionarily recent part of our brain. And one thing you might notice relative to the occipital or the, the, the rear portions of the brain, so we're right here now, by the way, um, is that there are a lot more inner neurons the noise of this region is much higher. Um, and what you get when you have a noisier system is more of a potential for optimization. So you can see generally how information travels through the cortex up and down and side to side, and then goes out through these longer range action potentials communicating with other parts of the brain. This guy right here, which you'll see, is the nucleus accumbens, uh, which is where you feel pleasure in the brain. That might be uh, you, I don't know, eat a delicious ice cream cone or take drugs. That's what's going to be happening there, quite frankly. This is the, the caudate nucleus or the basal ganglia. This is where you're integrating all sorts of different things uh, that your brain is processing to decide whether or not you're going to initiate a movement or not. Here's the thalamus, which is the central routing station of the brain. Pretty much everything is going through the thalamus, and it's deciding what is going to be gated and what is going to be allowed to pass to really allow you to bring things into your conscious awareness or not. Um, down here, we're starting to get in the brainstem. Here's the ventral tegmental area for you brain nerds. Uh, this is the pons right here. These are the huge pyramidal tracts which are carrying motor information down from the motor cortex. And this will become the spinal cord when we get down a little bit further. This is the reticular formation here. And these are some nuclei here which are doing things like helping you to breathe, helping you to sense that you're hungry, just really basic uh, reptilian brain kind of stuff, which is controlling yeah, basic life functions. Now we're in the cerebellum. This is what's calculating uh, proprioception, where your body is in space and how you can move. This is a particularly elaborate and beautiful part of the brain, in my opinion. In fact, these layers of all these little sparklies uh, comprise half the neurons in the entire brain. There's 50 billion of them. Uh, up here, these are the, this is the inferior and the superior colliculus, which sit right about back here. And those are processing uh, hearing and, and uh, vision, respectively. The, the optic nerve would be coming in through here into the lateral geniculate nucleus. And these are the, what are called the optic radiations going into primary visual cortex. This is where you're calculating just super basic aspects of your visual field, like where the angles are, you know, very rough form here. And then that information gets sent up through these wave-like activity uh, into the higher order cortex. So that's what that looks like.